<laughs> Time to have fun with <laughs> Joe. <laughs> yes, we are off the air. Yeah. Our tone. <laughs> now we're on the air. Video. Hey, today we're continuing what we uh, started last week. Last we, Thursday? Yeah, we skipped it because uh, Friday was Friday the 13th. I know. Friday it's night. back to uh, <laughs> you're showing your age. All these, <laughs> if you know the answer to these questions, it yes. means you've lived a few decades or more. Thank you. I'm glad you said it was more. <laughs> I went to chiropractor today. This is, uh, how long have you had this pain? I, and I said, how old are you? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my goodness, especially the young girls. I mean, I've had the pain before they've been born, you know. So I was like, yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> poor girls, poor girls. Yeah. Okay, we've got two tickets to the Ocala Civic Theater to Over the Rainbow and Through the Woods. To grandmother's house we go, where family is a little too close Good for morning. comfort. It's October 19th through November 12th. Good morning, everyone. There we go. It's a warm-hearted comedy. It's at the Ocala Civic Theater. And we're giving away two tickets to a night performance. Each ticket is worth $25. Remember, if you don't win, don't worry about it. Give them a call. 236-2274. 236-2274. Yes, it's worth the dollars to go see it. And speaking about dollars, we're going to give away a $20 gift card to Bob Wines Community Gardens, your gardening expert since 1952. Bob Wines is here to help you plant your things greatly into the ground and tell you how to do it. It's a $20 gift card. And salute our troops for veterans. They get discounts of 10% with proper identification. That's Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. Robin. It is $70 for this prize package today on Fun with Joe. And if you or anyone in your household has won Fun with Joe in the past 30 days, Robin, 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 you're not eligible Robin, to play today. Robin. What for Ride Sunday? You I did. almost stopped and took a picture. It says, Robin's Restaurant of Oba. Nice. <laughs> you don't usually see Robin's restaurant. No. Where was that? Where was it? We'll Where was it? It was on Highway 41 going towards Bushnell. Ah. Out oh, okay. that way. Okay. We okay. went for a nice ride Sunday. So Nice. And we said, I, oh, I almost stopped. Except there was this, you ever drive and this, you can feel that on the back of your neck and there's this car. <laughs> be right behind you. Yeah. I'm going, oh, I'm doing the speed limit. You don't want to go around. <laughs> oh, um. you can't enjoy. You can't enjoy. There, oh, I gotta get. Oh, I gotta. And he's at to the stoplight. Say, yeah, I'm here too. Now, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. All that rushing that pushed me and he passes me. And I see him at the stop sign. Yeah, the that stop light. Light. Yeah. I, 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 I have never had a car with a speedometer that worked. It seems like everybody's always got a good speedometer because mine always says whatever the sign says: 55, 65, whatever. <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. Everybody else always goes fast, so I'm figuring my, my speedometer must not oh, work. Oh, yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or they're more important, and they got to get there. Got to get there. Hurry, hurry. Got to get there. Got to get there. Exactly. All right. We anyway. have our, um, we need our players. That's what, what we, we need. need. So we need uh, two people to call in and bet on Robin or Joe. The yeah. number is 622-9622. If you bet on the winner, you are the winner. It costs nothing to play. Yeah, and, we're not charging again. And you can also no call in and be a lifeline, whether you're playing or not. Anyway, you look at it. The number's the same. It's 622-9622, 622-WOCA. We'll be right back. Yes, we will. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you in every part of your custom purchase. LTS carries the hottest brands in the industry like Under Armour, Russell, Mizuno, Asics, Badger Sports, Gildan, Pacific, Ogeo, and many more. At LTS, screen printing embroidery is done in-house and we guarantee customer satisfaction. Stop by, give us a call, or check us out on the web at shoplts.com. Remember the name, LTS. Hi, my name is Erica Olstein. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. So, you used to be wired, now you're just tired. You used to be thin, but now you're the heaviest you've ever been. You don't necessarily always have to take a med if your thyroid is playing dead. If you have a thyroid disorder, an acupuncture visit may be in order. Come visit me, your primary care physician, Erica Olstein, at A Better You Healthcare. Call me at 352-615-5566.
Veterans are the foundation upon which our freedom is built. Listen to The Source WOCA each Thursday at 9 a.m. to Veterans News with Hank Whittier from Vets Helping Vets. You'll hear tributes, information on veterans' issues, and stories that will make you laugh, cry, and feel proud. Veterans News always focuses on the military, past and present, and on our first responders. Veterans News is brought to you each week by Bob Wines Camellia Gardens and Nursery, keeping you blooming since 1952. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. All right, 12 minutes before 12 o'clock. Lauren betting on Are we Jeff. disturbing you, Larry? I'm sorry. <laughs> Carl betting on Robin. I didn't, I didn't mean to disturb All right. you. All right, this game is called uh, You're Showing Your Age. If you Oh, well, hey, you know. To these questions, it means you've been around a while. I didn't get the gentleman's, the Carl? person's name. That's betting on Joe. Lauren is betting on Joe. Lauren, okay, that's a girl. I'm sorry. That's, that's I know. I, just, I was just too involved with Carl there. Who? Carl. 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 Betting on Robin. All right, here we go. Carl's betting on uh. What was the name of the lieutenant played on TV by Peter Falk? Uh, Columbo. Columbo was right. Ooh, Carl's on the board with one. I love that show. Not on Netflix, though. So. Right, I got one more question. One more question. Yes. That was, that was Peter Falk. I got one more question. Columbo. I got one more question. Exactly. All right. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, what? let's see. Uh, <laughs> in, in what city are most TV evangelists watched per capita? What kind of a question is Los that? Los Angeles. No. What city? In what city are Atlanta. most TV evangelists watched per capita? You're closer. Uh, Dallas. You're further away. Charlotte. Atlanta. You're getting there. Jacksonville? Uh, you went too far south. It's not Charlotte. Is it North Carolina? North of North Carolina. North of North Carolina would be uh, Virginia, Williamsburg, Virginia. A little bit more. Richmond, Virginia. New York. More. No, a little south. The president lives there. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Really? is right, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they, need, they need that, that <laughs> help, that's for sure. I'll tell you that one, yeah. Who starred with Bob Hope in the Road bing, 2 bing, movies? Bing, 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 bing. Yes, Bing Cross. Bing, 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 bing. Two for Lauren and Joe, one for Carl. <laughs> Kate yes. Mulgrew. What, yes, say that Kate again. Kate Mulgrew uh, played in, played what part in a Gene Roddenberry based science fiction uh, Star series? Star Trek. No, what what was that? What was this? Uh, she it, was she was the captain. No, she Kate she, Mulgrew. She, she was a captain. Yes. Yeah. Well, what of, you, of, the of Voyager? The Starship oh, Enterprise. Wait. The Voyager. Come on. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, he he's got it. He can't hear us because his, his head's full of blood. Well, you take it off and hear us, you know. I know she played on Ryan's Hope, I, I, and then no, she that played was uh, Voyager. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yes, but I, you both answered at the same time, and I'm not sure if you answered it right. Well, what's the name? Kate Mulgrew okay. played what part? Captain in the Gene Roddenberry-based science fiction series. Was it Captain? Uh, right, but what was her I character think you said name? It. Oh, her character's oh, name. Oh, the character. Captain name. what? Janeway. Yes, Janeway Good is right. Good job. Now you got. Wow. It. Well, I feel like I'm at a dentist pulling teeth. Holy <laughs> mackerel! Tell you what. <laughs> In Sesame Street, what are the names of the two-headed friendly monster? Two-headed friendly monster. In Sesame Street, what are the names of the what? two-headed friendly monster? I'm monsters? sorry. That, I don't want to say anything, but that must have been after I grew up and after my <laughs> kids grew up. Because I don't remember a two... They've got a two-headed monster? Friendly. I know they had Mr. Oh. Snuffleupagus. Two-headed friendly that's, that's monster. A two-headed friendly monster. I don't know. Ying and Yang. I'll just throw <laughs> it out go. there. Ying and Yang. That's not no. He, uh, he and she. I'll give you the name of one of them. Okay. Frank. George. No. Uh, Eleanor. No, it's Frank and somebody. Frank and Ed. N no, and it's a monster. Frankenstein. Oh, Frankenstein oh, is good right. Good job, Joe. Good job. <laughs> I had no Frank clue. Frankenstein. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. One for me. What actor <laughs> I'll played... I'll take the point. You got what, four. Good what, morning. What actor played Ben Casey? Oh, oh my goodness. Gosh. What oh, actor played Ben? Uh, Initials? V.E. Uh, oh, Vince Edwards. Vince Edwards is right. Oh, Dang, you got, got it before I did. Yes, you did. Had to have the initials, <laughs> I, I got so. stuck on Victor. Now we <laughs> <laughs> Two for Carl, four for Lauren and Joe. What was the name of the first British show to air on U.S. Autumn Primetime? Benny Hill. 
No. Oh, I would have thought that would have been the show. I'll give you a hint. Mrs. Peel. I think. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh. The Avengers. Oh, the Avengers is right. It. Gosh. I love that it. show. I really <laughs> did. And that's just because she was on it. It didn't hurt, didn't hurt any. But <laughs> Briggs, I think, is her name. Is and Gunsmoke. Yeah. What was the name of the saloon? Oh. Miss Kitty's. No. No, no that's close, though. Oh. It's not Miss Kitty's. Miss Kitty was there. Initialed. Maybe that'll help us. The L and the two words made into one, so the LB, but it's one word. The LB. The Long Branch. Yes, the Long Branch is right. It's a guess. <laughs> that was a good guess. Where the hell <laughs> yes. did you pull that? <laughs> the Long Branch. It just sounded good, so I said it. In the first, she works for CBS on the side, I guess. In the first Voyager program, who were the Marquis? Uh, who were the McKees fighting? Marquis. You were right the first time. The Marquis. Okay, there's no R in it. Well, that's uh, the Marquis. Marquis. Who were they fighting? Yes, the Cleons. No. Us, the humans. No. Uh, oh. Marquis, who are they fighting? Who else was there besides the Cleons? Starts with a C. Well, Cleon starts with a K, so. Well, there is another C. version of this that starts with a K that has a big butt, if that helps. Has a big butt? Yes. The, cro- <laughs> the Cronins? No, it starts with a C. A C. But there's another K. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, the Clumps. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, good guess. Now, it's a big, attractive butt, the just C. so you know. A big, attractive butt. The right. C, the C <laughs> butt. The Kardashians. Uh, yes, the Kardashians is right. Oh, wow. That's what they were fighting. Good Who knew job. that? I never knew that. Wow. <laughs> In what city is Lou Grant's office? Oh, Minneapolis. No. Oh. St. Louis. I thought it was in Minneapolis. St. Paul. I was well, not St. Louis, St. Paul, it's Minneapolis. In, it's Cleveland. in Minnesota. Oh, L.A. I, L.A. is what it says. Yeah, L.A. It says. I thought it was. I thought so, too. Oh, I see, because they had a spinoff of You're the show Mary Tyler Mary Moore. Tyler show. Moore. Right. Yeah. Lou Grant. So he went yeah. out to the good job. Yeah. Yeah. The final episode of MASH. Yes. Had what title? Goodbye. Yes, goodbye, Good farewell, job. and amen. Yes. Eight for Joe and Lauren. Three for <laughs> Carl and Robin. The Del Floria Taylor Shop was what in what TV series? The Del Floria Taylor Shop. Taylor Shop? Yes. Sopranos. No. Seinfeld. No. Was it a comedy? No. Aha. Oh, okay. Blue Street, uh, Hill Street Blues. The Del Floria Taylor Shop. No. NYPD. No. I remember this really well. Something you like do. it hot. I don't know. Sex in the City. Good morning, uh, do you know? The man from Uncle. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's oh. right. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Who's that point wow. for? Joe. Thank you. Good job. Nine. Oh, Showing your age, Joe. Jim. If you know that. Oh, I like that. Was good though. Yeah. Yeah. I should have got that from your clue. <laughs> it went you in the back. That one very well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. In what hit TV show mm-hmm. did Petri and Is Becky appear? That'd be a Dick Van Dyke show. Uh, Hill Street Blues. No, maybe it's Petrie and Is Becky. Hill Street Blues. No. Oh, no. It's, uh, 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 oh, it's, uh, 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 what? Oh, Cagney and Lacey. Yes, Cagney and Lacey is right. I get your E-O-O-R uh, must have worked. <laughs> That's it. I think E-O-O-R, she gets it. <laughs> what, Good morning. What family used to live in Bug Tussle? Bug Tussle? Yes. Bug Tussle? Bug Tussle. Is it a cartoon? No. Oh, Petticoat Junction. No. No. That's close, though. The family. What, what the family used to live name? in Bug Tussle? Uh, oh. Jethro Bodine. That, the Beverly Hillbillies. What's the name of the family, though? Oh, oh, uh, Jeffrey, oh, oh, Clem. <laughs> Initial? C. Oh, she doesn't help me at all. I can't think of it. Oh, Buddy Epson's family. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. Good morning, do you know? The Clampets. <laughs> the Clampets. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who's that point for? Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Jamie Farr played what role in MASH? A clinger. Clinger is right. I was going to think of another one, but cross <laughs> uh, Let's see. In the United States, money mm. is still... Wait. It, in the United States, money is still top marital argument. What is second? Sex. No. Ha, 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 ha. In wow. the United States, money is still a top <laughs> marital Man. argument. What is second? My space. <laughs> is it dinner? No. It's not food, not dinner. Not Children. Oh, my gosh. This just says something about us. It's what to watch on TV. Oh. Oh, my gosh. You know how you solve that? More than one TV. Two, v, two TVs. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What to yeah. watch on TV. Uh, what actress played the bionic woman in the 1970s? 
Oh, uh, Lindsay Wagner. Uh, Lindsay Wagner is right. Good job. Uh, the real name of TV's Mr. Ed character was what? Don't know. I have no idea. Wow, I never heard this before. I don't the know. The real name of TV's Mr. Ed the, character. The man, who, the man the, who voiced it. Is it the horse or the man who voiced it? It must be the horse because this can't oh. be a man's name. Is it Fred? No. Mr. Ed. No. I am uh, Mr. Francis. Ed. It's B H if that helps. Nope. Ben Hur. Bruce. No. It's not Bruce? The second name is Harvester. Harvester. Benjamin the, Harvester. The bee is a plant. A bee is a plant? Yeah. Bean. Ooh. Blooming. No. <laughs> Bean harvester. No, it's bamboo. Bamboo harvester. Oh. That was the name of the horse. Wow. wow. Who knew that? Never knew that. I didn't even know the horse had a name, but I guess I it like did. The sure. name. <laughs> I thought it was Ed, but I don't know. Uh, the bar restaurant in the TV show Quincy is called what? Oh. oh it had a medical thing to it. Initial. D. Oh. oh. Doctors. <laughs> no. There you go. Uh, diagnostic. No. Drums. It's almost the same name as a place you can get a Grand Slam. Denny's? Yeah. But it's not Denny's. It's... Denny's? No. <laughs> Donner's. No. It's I Danny's. It's Danny's. Oh, it's Danny's. Yeah. You know, like Danny DeVito. In yeah. Bewitched. Who was the witch doctor that treats Samantha? Oh, doctor... Ah! Initial? B. Yeah, that was it. B. Uh... Oh, it, it's three syllables, isn't it? No, two. Oh, just two? Yeah. Dr. Oh, it's driving me nuts now. <laughs> oh, Dr. Bombay. Bombay, Bombay is that's right. it. <laughs> but what, see, if he said that's what you drop a bomb on, if I would have got it. You know? <laughs> the Central Perk Cafe appears in what TV uh, series? Friends. Oh, friends she is got right. me on that one, yeah. <laughs> Seven for Carl. Eleven for Joe and Lauren. <laughs> Um, let's see. According to psychologists, the oh, happiest people go. watch what kind of TV show? Drama. Yeah, these are dramas, but they're a specific type of drama. Reality drama. Usually shown in the daytime. Oh, soap operas. Soap operas, oh, that's right. the happiest uh, people. Well, I'm not happy then. Well, I guess we need a TV I'm in here. Who day. is Jennifer Aniston's godfather? Uh, we'll go Dwayne Johnson. Uh, no, his initials are TS and... He, Tom Selleck. He always had a lollipop. Oh, Telly Savalas? Telly Savalas oh, is right. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> never knew that. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, Uh-oh. Uh, wh where does the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer take place? Uh, Salem, Massachusetts. No. Los Angeles. No. Uh, East Coast? I don't know. New York. Oh, it's a make-believe town? It must be, yeah. Uh, no, we don't know. Uh, Minneapolis. Sunnydale is the answer. Sunnydale. It's Sunnydale. Oh, yeah. Right next to Metropolis. In 1962, <laughs> 1962, what was the first 90-minute TV series? Gunsmoke. Oh, you're so Ooh, close. that was good. I'm so close. MASH, Gunsmoke? It's, uh, the Virginian. The, the Virginian. Virginia. 90 minutes for the Virginian? Yeah, really? Who's the winner? Wow. Oh, Joe and Lauren have 13. Carl and Robin have 7. Joe and Lauren, you guys win. Lauren, come pick up your prize. This is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. This is a Fox News alert. I'm Lillian Wu. There's a verdict in now for the New Jersey man accused of planting bombs on the streets of New York City last year. Jurors in Manhattan have found Ahmad Khan Rahimi guilty on all charges, including counts of using a weapon of mass destruction and bombing a public place. He faces a maximum punishment of life in prison. Those bombs set off uh, one.